Spotify's deal with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle failed because consumers weren't satisfied. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's failed partnership with Spotify continues to make headlines. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Meghan Markle withdraws trademark application for Archetypes podcast after 17-month battle. Spotify CEO Daniel Ek has hinted that the much-discussed deal between the royal family and the streaming giant failed because consumers were unimpressed. The Duchess and Prince Harry's company Archual Audio produced just 12 podcasts in a two-and-a-half-year period, after signing with Spotify in December 2020. During a recent interview with the BBC, tech host and writer Zoe Kleinman asked the CEO if she believed the partnership, which ended on June 15, 2023, was worth the $20 million price tag. You had some pretty big names, she said. You had the Obamas. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Was it worth the £18 million? In response, Eck explained that the streaming platform should be open to giving new creators the opportunity to reach their audience. We thought new innovations were needed here, he explained. We thought we could deliver a great experience that would make consumers very happy and open up new avenues for new creatives. The Duchess and Prince Harry's company, Archual Audio, has produced just 12 podcasts in two and a half years after signing a deal with Spotify in December 2020. Despite his best intentions, Eck admitted that Spotify has made mistakes in the past. And the truth is, some of them worked, some of them didn't, he explained. We learn from it and move on. We wish everyone that we do not repeat as much success as possible for the future. Eck isn't the first Spotify executive to point out that he has a problem with content provided by Markle and Prince Harry. In June 2023, the titular host called the couple modern-day cheaters during an episode of the Bill's Simmons podcast. The fucking grifters. This is the podcast we should have launched with them, said Simmons, founder of Ringer and head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify. One night I have to get drunk and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to help him with the idea for a podcast. It's one of my best stories. The first episode of Archetypes debuted in August, 2022 and aimed to examine the labels that seek to hold women back and uncover the origins of these stereotypes. Spotify On the 15th of June 2023, it was announced that the Sussexes would be terminating their multi-million pound deal with Spotify. With a mission to examine the labels that seek to hold women back and uncover the origins of these stereotypes, Markle launched her first episode of Archetypes in August, 2022 with her good friend, the tennis phenom Serena Williams as guest. I don't remember personally ever hearing the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband, Markle told Williams. And ah, uh, apparently ambition is, a terrible, terrible thing for a woman, some say. So since I felt the negativity behind it, it's really hard to stop feeling it. Nor do I see it in the millions of girls and women who regularly make themselves, smaller, so much smaller. Two days after its release, Archetypes was the number one podcast on the international Spotify charts in the United States, United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada.